In this video, we will create the Ghost Rider effect in Filmora. Step 1. Track head movements using the AI motion tracking tool. Import a suitable video in which you pretend to be a Ghost Rider into the project. Drag the main footage on track 1. Select the clip, go to AI tools, click the motion tracking button, and then you need to adjust the motion tracking box. Put it at the point where you want to do the motion tracking. In our case, it's a head. Go to the first frame and click here to start the motion tracking. Wait for a few seconds. Now we have motion tracking data of the head. Step 2. Convert the daytime into nighttime. Select the video and go to the color tab. Adjust the curves and then play with brightness, contrast, highlights, etc. I can't tell you the exact numbers because the values are different in your case. Now it shows nighttime. Step 3. Pin the skull footage to follow the head movements. Let's drag the skull footage on track 2. If you want to get the same cool skull footage, check out the link in the video description. Adjust the clip according to our main footage, add some contrast, and boost the brightness of the skull. Now select the main footage and go to AI tools again to track the skull with the head of our main character. Click on the link element and select the skull footage. The skull automatically tracks with our main character's head, but we must still adjust the scale and rotation. Select the skull footage, adjust the scale, and then go to basic and adjust the rotation. Step 4. Add the glow effect on the fire. Go to effects, then video effects, drag the glow effect on the skull footage, Go to Effects, adjust the Glow Radius, apply the Glow Effect again for more glow, and adjust the Glow Radius again. Then you can do some color grading using curves. Step 5. Add Glow for our character clothes. I imported a solid orange picture that was downloaded from Google and dragged this onto Track 3. Go to the mask, apply the circle mask on it, adjust the size and position, increase the blur strength, Go to Basic and decrease the opacity, and change the blend mode to Screen. To track the orange glow with the head, we need to duplicate the main footage and place it right under the glow footage. Go to AI Tools of that duplicate layer, select the orange glow, and now adjust the glow position. Hide the duplicate layer, and boom! Here is the final result. I also added some glowing eyes using the same steps. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.